Question 2. Express P in terms of K. So they want you to express now P in terms of K. So let's look at the first one. Huh? I'm going to write up here. Question A. 1. X, in case you all cannot see, the question is X power 2K plus P equals to 1. So how are we going to express P in terms of K? So what we can do is, here is 1, right? We can actually change it to become the same base as X. How do we do? We can change it into X power 0. Any number power 0 is always equals to 1. Okay, so we can write 3 power 0, we can write 10 power 0, uh, 500 power 0, all of this will become 1. So the key thing is when you see 1, right, you just want to make sure you can make it become the same base. So if here is x, so here I can change to x power 0, like what I did here. Okay, once you do that, then you can solve already because now both of them are the same base. So because they are the same base, so we can say that 2k plus p equals to 0. So you want to express p, right? So p is equals to negative 2k. Okay, pretty straightforward. Now, the second one. Here the question is given a power k, a, sorry, a power p equals to um, bracket root k, root k, and then you're going to power 6. So this one actually you can um, right in terms of indices, right? So when you see root k, what does that mean? Root k means a power 1 over k. When the in the index here is fraction, it becomes root. Okay, so for example, if I write like this, 1 over 2, right? 2 down there becomes square root. If I write a 1 over 3, it becomes cube root. Okay, so now it's power, uh, what, root k, right? So it's 1 over k. Alright, so now, what are we going to do? We're going to power 6. So here you can multiply in. So a power p equals to a power 6 over k. So now since they are the same base, we can conclude that p is equals to 6 over k. Done. Alright, question b. Given that, okay, so this question here, I think if you can't see, because it's a bit blur there, so 3 plus 3 power y over 3 power 2x plus 1 equals to 84. So this is the actual question here for those who can't see. Okay, so given that this... Okay, so they give you this equation, express y in terms of x. So same thing, you want to make them become the same base. So what we can do is, this 3 here, we can shift over the other side. Because I can't really combine with this, right? I cannot combine. So I just bring it to the other side. But this one, you can actually write in a simpler form. Because this one is divide, right? So divide means the indices here, you can combine. Divide means minus. So 3 power y minus... 2x plus 1 equals to 84 minus 3 and minus 3 is 81. So you can expand the indices here. y minus 2x minus 2 equals to, so 81 is actually equals to 3 power 4, right? Okay, so I'm going to rewrite here. So since they now both have the same base, we can conclude that y minus 2x minus 2 is equals to 4. Okay, we just look at the, the power now. So, it asks you to express y, right? So, y is the subject. So, y is equals to 2x, um, 4 plus 2 is 6, 2x plus 6. So, this is your answer.